this is the least we can do. Maybe hold them over until things start to work and uh, you know get them going back on their feet again. They're collecting water, 1077, so you should go down and donate some water. So I went to the store and grabbed it and I think it's just a good way to help out. We decided that we wanted to help out the victims in Houston and we thought what better way than just collect as much water as we possibly can. I would hope that uh, if this happened in our area, you know, there definitely would be someone coming up and, and uh, volunteering their time. I'm gonna say that, uh, yeah, you're not alone. We're uh, doing what we can to help you. We thought that it wasn't gonna be this big. We knew that we'd get some water because the community is is unreal around here, um, but we didn't expect to fill half of a box truck. I think the message, uh, certainly in these uh, in this climate uh, today, uh, that we can become one and help each other out. Our business partners at work, and uh, it's like, hey man, go down and donate some water. I'm like, anybody that can help, you should help. You know, that's the way we grow as a community and as you know. Thank you so much. It might look like just a maybe a bottle of water, but to them right now it's the world because they have nothing. They lost everything and I personally couldn't even imagine what they're going through. So I'm hoping that to us it's just a bottle of Poland Springs, but to them it could be their entire day in a bottle. So I'm hoping that all of this really helps and I, I, mean, I can't thank the Full Power team and everyone else that was involved in the community enough. It means the world. We collected today and whatever we collect on Friday, so we're doing another drive to happen at the Jordan Firehouse in Waterford, 89 Rope Ferry Road, 6 a.m. till 10 a.m. Unless you guys keep bringing that water.